welcome to another appliance repair video where you could repair appliances like a pro. Today we're working on an LG refrigerator and the problem we're having is the water filter head. If you're having this problem and you can't get your water filter on your filter head, This one is broken because it's just trying to uh, get the filter on the filter head. This is the filter head. And so we're going to be replacing the filter head today. The model number we're working on is Larry Foxtrot X-Ray Sam 28596SAM-00. Before I proceed with putting the filter head on this LG refrigerator, I want to say stop. If your problem and issue is your filter is not lining up with your filter head, I made a brief video. I put a link in the description to show you in seven minutes what I suggest to use in order to turn the little round part in the filter head in order to get your filter to line up again without replacing your filter head. This might be very helpful to you and work out, but if it doesn't, you can continue to replace the filter head. First thing we're going to do in order to replace this filter head, is we have to take off this housing top panel. It's just one screw right here with a Phillips head. After removing the screw, you're going to be pulling out the refrigerator and going to the back. Make sure your feet on the bottom are up so that it'll come out easily. It has wheels. Just turn the feet clockwise and they will go up. This is the water filter head that we're going to be replacing. It has two hoses on it, one short one and one long one. We're going to disconnect the power. Remove this screw. Take off this cover. Got two little tabs on the top. And one tab on the right. You just grab it and pull it off. Next, we're going to be removing the screws from the plastic clear retainers that hold on the water lines on the back of the refrigerator. On these retainers, there is a tab and groove that locks in there. You can take a screwdriver and put it in between there and snap it out. I'll take those two off to get this blue hose out of here. Next, in order to access the water valve to remove the blue water line, we have to take off these four screws off the top of the panel and two screws on each side on the bottom. We're going to do that quickly. All the screws are off the back panel. You have the water line hooked up. You don't have to unhook it. You just bring the panel up off it and walk it out to the end so you can lean it up against the wall. Next, take out this one screw and the water valve will come out. We can disconnect the blue line. The little black lock clip just comes right off.
before removing the blue hose from the water valve, put a towel down, you're gonna have a little water. Just press down. And at the same time with two hands, one hand to press down on the white round washer looking piece and the other to pull the hose up. I'm gonna take out the black clip from the short line. And I'm gonna to have to do the same thing to get the short one out. You're gonna hold down one hand on this little blue piece that's coming out of the water connector. And pull up on the blue water line. All right, we got our two blue hoses loose from the back end. Now we can take this tab out. Took the screw out already. Bring it to you. Interesting. This is the piece that broke out. It just must have pushed it right through. It was hanging out back there. Now you can pull the whole thing out with the hose, one short hose and one long hose. That goes to the water valve. So we're gonna be removing the water head from this cover. It has two tabs in the front. It just slides in, in the front. And in the back, it's, there's really nothing holding it. We're gonna be replacing this foam piece onto the new piece the same way and just carefully cut the tape off and take it off. Know how far it is so that it'll give you the right amount of measurement so that when it goes through the hole, the purpose is for no hot air will get into the refrigerator. I'm gonna take, you could either try to peel the tape back. Notice that the uh, small part is in the back and the big fluffy part is in the front. Taking my two thumbs and push it back. And then you gotta give it, has to have some leeway to get out. You can cut it. I'm gonna try to leave it intact and put it on the new one like that. The old one aside, get the new one. The mark at four inches. Go ahead and put your black electrical tape on the foam. I'm gonna put the filter head in here. Put it all in as one piece. So it goes in from the top. I'm gonna to get these edges lined up. And you're gonna open it up a little bit. Put a flexible plastic it's in there get it lined up put it 
push forward with my thumbs. The thumbs always do it. We are ready to reinstall the filter head and cover in the refrigerator hole. Okay, so I got my head on the cover, it's clipped in. This notch is going in that screw, it's gonna sit on that screw right there, but pushing it on. Got one hose through the hole, put the other one through. Make sure that this insulation is filling up that hole so no hot air gets in there. Put it flushed up in there. As long as your screw hole is lined up, you're all the way back there. The head's on the screw, you can feel it go on. As long as your screw hole is revealed, you know you're, you're in a good position. Put my screw in the ceiling now. Don't move. Tighten it up. I'm gonna go to the back now and connect everything and have to put the filter in and we're done. How to put the short blue hose in the connector. Hold the top end of the connector down while inserting the blue hose. And don't forget to put the black lock clip. Insert the long blue water line into the water valve the same way by holding down the white washer on top of the water valve and pushing it all the way in. Don't forget the black clip on the water valve connection. Secure your water valve with the one screw. Put your water line cover on and it's held on with one screw. So you got a five sixteenths hose and a quarter inch hose. Make sure that they line up in here. It's a bigger hose, five sixteenths. After putting the retainer on the hoses, you snap it down. We're going to fasten the bottom clear retainer over the water lines the same way as the top. Reinstall your back panel by walking it over to the inlet water line and putting your six screws on. The back panel got two little tabs on there. They go over the flange right there. Got one on this side too. Make sure your water hoses fit in this little pocket here. Ready to put my water filter in. 
We're all done now. We're going to check if we have any leaks. To check your work, I have a magnet here and I'm going to be putting it on the spot. Turn off the lights. That way I can get water and check for leaks at the same time. And we could check if there's any leaks in the back. No leaks in the water filter area. No leaks in the back area. And if you wanted to, you can put the back panel on after checking for leaks where the water line went into the water valve. Well, job well done. Thank you for watching. If this video has been a benefit to you, hit the like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.